Shalom. It's your brother Yerach. Giving all praise to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rechach Wadash, for giving me the spirit to do this lesson. Shalom to the elect of Israel, the men and women whom the Lord will have mercy on in the latter days, the so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Shalom to the prophets, the men of the Lord that are preaching and teaching the word in sincerity and truth. Shalom. Uh, this is another quick one. And I have uh, DJ Trump here who is at it again with just, you know, his wickedness. Look at this devil, you know. <laughs> you, you know, how can you not think the Most High is not going to destroy him? You know, he's holding the Bible. This article here says the Bible is not <laughs> a prop. Religious leaders, lawmakers outraged over Trump. Church visit. Now, what you know... Uh, you may not know is in D.C. they have something called the uh, St. John's, which is called the President's Church, where many presidents, they they go in there, uh, you know, and they sit down. And they probably just pray to Satan, to be honest. Uh, but it's it's a uh, it's Christian posturing, I should say, that presidents go into this church and uh, and they use it to hold up. This idea that they're that that they're pro the Most High, you know, that they're uh, that they're with the Bible, you know, so they they are uh, lashing back out at Trump, basically because he goes in there, doesn't even go into the church, just stands in front of it without telling them, you know, he just shows up, holds the Bible up for a photo op, you know, which just showing you he's the devil, you know. So I'll play this video, and. Uh, I'll get a couple of scriptures and then that'll be it. St. John's Church, widely known as the Church of the Presidents, was used last night by the current commander in chief to make a statement. Shortly after authorities used force to clear the area of protesters, President Trump walked to the church from the White House and held up a Bible. That moment not sitting well with the bishop who oversees the church. If he had come to St. John's because he wanted to pray, if he had come to St. John's to lament the death of George Floyd and the um, the grief that has been unleashed across our country, that would have been an appropriate use of the uh, sacred symbol of, of walking across the park to the church, but he did none of those things. Just one night Once earlier, flames broken, ripped through the lower level of St. John's Church. And uh, as you can see, uh, place, there's definitely you know? a fire here. And the president shows up to try to do a photo op. Let's get a scripture real quick. This is Job 20 uh, and 12. It says, Though wickedness be sweet in his mouth, though he hide it under his tongue. And that's exactly what he's doing, bringing out the Bible, you know, trying to post with it, you know, giving this idea that he's a Christian. But in in his heart, he knows he's the devil, you know. He's just, he, he's just posturing, you know, and all this mayhem. Uh, verse 13 says, though he spare it and forsake it not, but keep it still within his mouth. It says, uh, yet his meat in his bowels is turned. It is a, a gall of asps within him. He hath swallowed down riches and shall vomit them up again. God shall cast them out of his belly. Right. Because this is this stuff is not being looked the other way. Every idle thought, you know, every action that you take, the most I is going to pay you back for it you know it's it's the recompense it's not something that you can just skirt around like oh the most high is not going to see me you know the scriptures say that the eyes of the most high are ten thousand times brighter than the sun you know verse 17 says he shall not see the rivers the floods the brooks of honey and butter that which he labored for shall he restore and shall not swallow it down. So he's going to pay for all of it back in slavery. You know, everything that he's stolen, everything that he's taken, everything that he's burned down, he's going to rebuild it. He's going to pay it back. As according to his substance shall the restitution, which is paying something back, be. And he shall not rejoice therein, because he hath oppressed and hath forsaken the poor, because he hath violently taken away an house which he builded not. <laughs> you know? And that's that's Esau, you know, that's this that's this double here, you know. 
has played a rest. Store church set on fire by protesters is lucky to still be standing. Was this the nursery that was just used on Sundays or? Mm -hmm. Yeah. The next day, the rector, Robert Fisher, showed me what was left. A charred changing table and melted children's toys. Yeah, it looks like they just busted open the window. If not for a fire door, the church could have been a total loss. They defaced this church and they set it on fire. Yeah, yeah, we are. I don't think uh, those who did the, the defacing are representative um, of the majority of the protesters who we have no problem standing with. His message for those who did set the fire? I have no idea. I don't think um, it's right for me to speak on behalf of every parishioner, but I can speak on my own. I forgive that person. Why? Because that these Edomites are just, they're soft, you know, and they're really the devil, you know. He, he's, he's, he's posturing to all these religious leaders. You know, now you wonder why so many Jakes are coming out of these churches, even these black churches, so-called black churches, because they're all influenced by guys like this, you know, Christians like this, that same dogma. Jake is waking up saying this is bullshit, you know. That is what they know not what they do. A powerful sentiment considering what, what could do. have been lost. Built in 1816, the church has been visited by every president since, many going for services right before their inauguration. So you can see that that's a major church that uh, that they set on fire basically the day before, <laughs> you know. They, they completely uh, disrespected that place. Let me get Proverbs 3. Uh, says the curse of the Lord is in the house of the wicked, but he blesseth the habitation of the just, you know, sh showing you that this place is not of the most high, you know, places, the, the real sanctuary is among the men of the Lord on the highways and byways, you know, it's not in these churches, you know, and a lot more churches are going to get torched. The Most High is going to send his men, his, his angels in there <laughs> to, to slay a lot of you uh, you preachers and you, you church goons, you know, which only serve the Most High or make an attempt to serve the Most High with your lips, but refuse to repent, you know. The Most High knows you who, who you are in your heart, you know. Let me finish this video and I'll get Psalms. the president's pew this is the president's pew so starting with james madison this is it and at the back they still have the pew where abraham lincoln would come to reflect See, late at night as the, the museum, civil war you know, raged you, know, you can imagine the uh, what he was president thinking about what where. was on his heart you might so like you said they marking the benches where each president sat where that place is just a museum it's not a place of worship to the most high it pays more homage to so-called u.s presidents than it does the most high you know why else would you be marking benches where, where a president sat? What difference does that make, you know? Because they, they, they get money by people coming in, you know, taking pictures, you know, wanting to sit where an old wicked Edomite sat, you know, Lincoln, Jefferson, all these. The See, we are once story. again a land of heavy hearts in search of guidance. What's the way forward as, as, a, as a man of, of great faith? We have to learn how to talk again in this country. It, and uh, one, one belief I have about conversation is that you're not really listening unless you're willing to have your opinion changed by what you're gonna hear. To get a little bit theological, I believe that the heart is the God-shaped part of all of us. When the heart is oriented towards God, it's our God positioning system. You don't know the most high. If you knew what was coming, you wouldn't be saying any of that, <laughs> you know? You, you, would, you would be in fear, a great fear, you know? You wouldn't think that he's this all love entity. It's our GPS. The Reverend telling me it really is quite remarkable that the damage was confined to the basement, to that nursery, the sanctuary, this historic sanctuary, untouched. The Reverend actually saying that perhaps there's a, a code even among vandals in times like this. Why did the fire get set at all then, you know? And that, that whole sanctuary is going to get touched. Uh, let's see. Psalms 10. Uh, it says, Why standest thou for our awful Lord? Why hidest thou thyself in the times of trouble? The wicked in his pride doeth persecute the poor. 
let them be taken in the devices that they have imagined because they're plotting all these things they're posturing you know trump trying to be a christian all of a sudden when really the whole time he's plotting on bringing that military in to kill you jakes you know it says for the wicked boasted in his boasted of his heart's desire and blessed the covetousness who's the lord abhorreth you know so there, there's there's not going to be anything left of this place thanks to the wicked being in rule you know verse four the wicked through the pride of his countenance will not seek after the most high the most high is not in all his thoughts so you can't look up there at this picture of uh of trump and think that this is a righteous man you know this man is a devil <laughs> that the bible spoke about he is the wicked he says, he hath said in his heart, I shall not be moved, for I shall never be in adversity. For his mouth is full of cursing and deceit and fraud. Under his tongue is mischief and vanity. So this picture right here is mischief and vanity. Him holding the scriptures, you know, because I guarantee if you were to go into the scriptures, 80% of it would just start cutting them, you know. This is a prop, you know, and this is one of the prime reasons why this place needs to go. Because he's posturing as he's, he's a righteous man. But really, he's, he's the devil, you know, and that's what that's really what the devil means, deceiver. You know, he's doing what he's supposed to do. But uh, I just want to get there and share with you, brothers. You know, the devil is on the move, you know, in more ways than one for sure. So uh, call hello, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai, Bahashem, Rachach, Hopefully, you brothers were edified. Shalom.